Hey everybody, it's the Technical Wizard here, and today I bring you a very special rarity in the iMac G3 world. Here today we have a final version iMac G3, which is what I call it. But it's the 2002 iMac G3, so it's the very last revision of the first generation iMac. Um, at first glance, it looks like another summer 2001 iMac, which is what I identify as, as um, the model number, but it's actually a 2002 revision. There was a guy on YouTube, I don't remember his name exactly, but he made a video called the Apple's Last iMac G3. It featured a summer 2001 iMac G3 like this one right here. Um, Indigo, same color and whatnot, same keyboard and mouse, but it wasn't. It wasn't a 2002 iMac and this one is. So I'll bring the camera closer and we will look at some of the differences. So first up is when they came out. The summer 2001 iMac G3 came out in July of 2001, replacing the predecessors, the special edition iMacs, Flower Power and Dalmatian, and the two Indigo and Graphite ones. They could be configured up to 700 megahertz, whereas these could only be configured up to 600 megahertz. They killed off the 400 megahertz processor, leaving only 500 and 600. And the 2002 iMac G3 was released the same day as the iMac G4. These summer 2001 iMacs could only be configured up to, I would think, about 256 megabytes of RAM, whereas this example has been configured all the way up to 512 megabytes of RAM. And you will obviously notice, just from looking, the peripherals are different. The summer 2001 iMac G3 shipped with the black and clear Key, pro keyboard and pro mouse, whereas the 2002 iMac G3 had a refined white keyboard and pro mouse. This is also pro keyboard. It looks the exact same, but it's got the white wires and whatnot. No Apple logo on the bottom, whereas this one does. Nice. <laughs> whereas this one does not have it because this keyboard's kind of beat up. Should have used another example, but whatever. Um, the Summer 2001 iMac shipped with macOS 9.2. Some of them came, actually no, all of them came with macOS 10.0 preloaded along with 9.2 or 9.1, I can't remember exactly. Whereas the 2002 iMac G3 came with 9.2.2 and 10.2 Jaguar. So, cosmetically, they really look like the same machine minus the fact that they're different colors. Um, no new colors were introduced for the 2002. They were the same indigo, snow, and graphite. But I will turn them upside down. We'll take a look at the key difference. So on the summer 2001 iMac, you can see the blue kickstand. Right here, the copyright date is 2000. They used this from 2000 to 2001, actually. And that leads to the next difference on the 2002 iMac. And looking at the bottom of the 2002 iMac G3, you can already see the copyright date is actually 2002 on this iMac and not 2000. And above on the specifications on the serial number tag, you can see where it's been configured for 512 megabytes of RAM. So with that aside, let's go ahead and get this machine plugged in and we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. All right, folks, we got her all plugged up and ready to go, so let's power on. Now, when I first got this iMac from a friend of mine, the only thing it did not have was a hard drive. So I stuck one in that was originally out of another Snow iMac. It was from a summer 2001, actually. So it might be the same kind of hard drive vendor, but I'm not completely sure. This one is currently running OS X 10.4 Tiger, whereas this example does not have 10.2 on it, which one day I might put 10.2 on it, but it's got a bunch of important stuff on this hard drive that I don't want to wipe off or anything. Go ahead and log in. As you can see, this CRT still looks great for what it is. 
an almost 20 year old computer. And she's loading up. Just give it a minute. Go to about this Mac. Don't care about AOL. 600 megahertz, 256 megabytes of RAM. This one did come configured with 512, but I'll have to reinstall it because this is what it had in there when I got it. Go ahead and go to the profiler. There we go, Maxter. 40 gigabyte hard drive, it came with a 40 gigabyte CDRW drive, it's got built in VGA and Firewire and like all the other ones do at the time, but that's pretty much all there is to say about this machine for what it is. It's literally a iMac G3 that's the last revision. So now y'all know more about the iMac G3 because as far as I could see on YouTube, there wasn't a single video of a 2002 iMac G3, so I guess I'll be the first. <laughs> So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Maybe it was educational with some of y'all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll be seeing you guys later. This is the Technical Wizard, signing off.